This is the most amazing story I've seen in 2025 and one that no one is talking about. It's quite remarkable. What happens to lithium-ion batteries when they're dead, when they're used? And they do eventually degrade. I mean, most new batteries last an incredibly long time, many, many years. And I'm talking about electric car batteries here. But there's all kinds of batteries, all kinds of lithium-ion batteries, and they do eventually die. But scientists and artificial intelligence have discovered a way to take old batteries that are almost useless and give them an entirely new life simply by adding a chemical to the batteries. This research is truly staggering. I mean, eventually there is going to be millions and millions of used batteries that will be recycled. But before recycling them, they might actually last for many, many more years if they are recharged with this new chemical. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Researchers at Fudan University in China have developed a method to drastically extend the lifespan of used lithium-ion batteries. A, a team of Chinese chemists, a team of Chinese chemists, molecular engineers, and material scientists collaborated to make this transformative discovery, which has really shocked a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people think, well, when batteries are dead, they're dead. Nothing you can do with them. You just have to go and recycle them. You know, a lot of people say that they get thrown out and put in the waste, which is not true if it's a large battery. However, even better than that is, well, by simply recharging them and giving them new life. This research was actually published in Nature under the title External Lithium Supply Reshapes Lithium Deficiency and Lifetime Limit of Batteries. Technically, batteries are actually quite simple. There's only really four main components to most batteries used in most devices, whether energy storage or electric cars. Batteries contain a cathode, an anode, a separator, and an electrolyte filled with lithium ions. During normal operation, lithium ions move between the cathode and the anode, transferring energy. Now, that's a very, very simplified explanation, but you get the point. Over time, some lithium ions form deposits, and this actually causes battery degradation. It creates what scientists call dead lithium. This accumulation reduces the concentration of lithium ions in the electrolyte, gradually diminishing the battery's capacity to hold a charge. You may have heard of dendrites before. That's part of the process. Once capacity drops below 80% of its original value, the battery is, well, by some people, considered unusable. Now, of course, you could use a battery until it falls to 50%, 40%, 30 20% of its capacity. But by the time it gets to that low, usually you think it's not really worth keeping anymore. Very exclusive event here in Newcastle. Saturday the 15th of March from 3 to 5 p.m. I'll be speaking here with just a couple of other speakers. Very small event. So you can meet me in person. You can actually have a look at my EV as well, the Xpeng G6. Test that out. I'll put a link in the description below to the event. I believe that the tickets will probably sell out very, very quickly. So if you're from Sydney, from Brisbane, from Newcastle, make sure you click on that link as quickly as possible to get in. There's, I think there's only around 30 tickets left at this point in time. I'll put that link in the description and I'll see you there. To solve this issue, researchers approached battery degradation as a treatable condition that could potentially be fixed through extensive experimentation using AI primarily, researchers found that battery degradation mirrors the progression of a disease where a key component deteriorates while the rest of the system remains functional. By identifying and addressing the malfunctioning component, they developed a method to restore depleted batteries to full functionality. This um, is a honestly remarkable discovery and it means that battery lifespan can be drastically increased. I think this is kind of the most insane, insane story I've, I've seen for a very long time because this could revolutionize the entire world. The researchers described their accomplishment as a major challenge requiring the development of a carrier requiring the development of a carrier molecule capable of being injected into a failing battery. This molecule has to meet several strict criteria, including the ability to dissolve in the existing electrolyte without disrupting the battery's function. In addition to that, says inside engineering, 
it needs to be highly compatible with all other battery materials. It can't cause some sort of reaction to the other things inside of a battery. So here's where the tricky part was. I mean, to try and find the suitable, a suitable product to just inject into, into a battery, it would take you know, probably thousands of years because to do this by hand, to have you know, scientists and chemists doing this by hand, it would take an incredibly long time to just continue to go through all the possible additives. Using artificial intelligence um, that was trained on digitized molecular properties their research actually led them to find something called LISO-CF or LISO-2-CF3, which is a molecule that not only met all compatibility requirements, but was also quite inexpensive to produce and suitable for nearly all commercially available batteries. In other words, it's suitable for basically all electric car batteries, either NMC batteries or lithium ion phosphate. The rejuvenation process is apparently really simple. Batches of the molecule are injected into the region where the battery's active lithium ions sit, and the process releases a small amount of gas, after which the battery becomes ready for recharging. Initially, it seems the team thought, well, this is good, it'll help, but we don't know by how much. And they were shocked by just how much of a difference it actually made. The battery lifespan increased on average from 1,500 cycles remaining to 12,000. I mean, that's an increase of a fa by nearly a factor of 10. It's nearly a 1,000% increase. This advancement not only enhances battery performance, but also helps reduce environmental pollution by decreasing the number of discarded batteries. So when you recycle a battery, it's true that not every single thing in that battery pack is going to actually be recycled. There is plastic in the housing. Most of it does, but there is definitely parts that won't be. So this is definitely good for, well, everyone, for EV owners, for uh, commercial battery operators, and also for the entire ecosystem. What's shocking about this is, I mean, batteries already last for so long. Batteries are already lasting for, in many cases, for well over 500,000 kilometers. In fact, in some cases, more than 500,000 miles. CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, they have now have a 1 million kilometer warranty on their batteries. They say that the batteries will last at least 1 million kilometers without hitting 80% battery degradation. Now, imagine you had those batteries in your car. I mean, and then when the battery gets to that point where it needs, needs a bit of help, needs a bit of a boost after it's done more, more than a million kilometers, you say, all right, we're going to inject some molecules in there. Might cost, a, might cost you $500,000 to refurbish your battery pack. And all of a sudden, you can potentially double the life of your battery. Now you're looking at maybe one and a half, two and a half, maybe even three million kilometers of use for an EV battery. That is the future. Whether you like it or not, um, whether you're against EV batteries, there's a lot of people out there making videos talking about how EVs are not the solution. But technological solutions like this are going to change everything. The impact of this discovery, says interesting engineering, goes beyond scientific innovation, offering real-world benefits in the push for sustainable energy. As electric vehicles and renewable power systems gain traction, in other words, huge batteries are being built all over the world, costing billions and billions of dollars, the ability to restore lithium-ion batteries will drive significant environmental and economic advantages. Countries all over the world are building mega batteries that are costing probably in total hundreds of billions of dollars, and they will continue to do so until you know, grids become much more affordable and much greener, and that's more about economics. But when those batteries eventually you know, are worn out in 20, 30 years' time, it might be very likely they'll simply be able to inject them with these chemicals and double the battery life, which is going to be a remarkable solution to what is probably a significant issue or was a significant issue. By extending battery longevity and reducing the need for constant replacements, this advancement will play a crucial role in minimizing electronic waste and saving the world many, many billions of dollars. Enhanced battery efficiency will lead to more reliable and cost-effective energy storage solutions across multiple industries. And I'm just thinking about the future here. I mean, imagine when, in a few years' time from now, we have batteries in many cars from CATL and other brands who are doing similar things with a million-mile warranty. And then, I mean, what will you do with the car? No one's going to want to be driving a car for you know more than one and a half million kilometers. So the question is, 
we're going to have all of these electric car batteries just in old cars. And those cars will be, no one will want them anymore. They're going to be so old, 10, 20, 30 years old. But we're going to have all these batteries that are still going to be useful. We can use those to power everything. Coal power, fossil fuel power will die out. That's the only real way this game is going to play. Let me know your thoughts though. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm.